Who's dying in the Game of Thrones finale? We're breaking it down. The last episode of season seven is almost here, and while we have yet to see a major death in the last few outings, sorry man bun, you don't count, we're gearing up for some serious bloodshed this Sunday. This is Game of Thrones. <laughs> After all, now before we run down the odds of who's staying and who's going, let's just get a minor spoiler <laughs> warning up for y'all. Cool. Let's kick things off with the Mad Queen herself. One of the most speculated deaths in the finale is Cersei. Now in the books, it's prophesized that she would be killed by the Valonqar, or little brother, after her children's deaths. Now we still don't know which of her two Valonqars that'll be, or whether that will actually happen this season or be saved for the final episodes of the series. But for the finale, we put Cersei's death odds at 10 to 1. And with Cersei's fate hanging in the balance, let's move on to Jaime, a prime suspect in her impending death. While we don't think he's likely to live through to the end of the series based on the fact that we've already had a death fake out coupled with his announcement that he's about to start shooting season 8 we think he's pretty safe for this season's finale odds of dying are 75 to 1. as for the third lannister sibling it's hard to imagine them thrones with no Tyrion, and he still has a major part to play as the hand to danny we put Tyrion's odds of biting it at 100 to 1. Now Varys has been a bit inactive this season, but he's been such a heavy hitter in the past with some key stealth tactics that we wouldn't be surprised if he cheats death for one more episode. And let's be real, when Varys does go out, he will go out like Lady Tyrell and drop some key info that will put things in motion for everyone else. We put Varys' death odds at 50 to 1. What about the former members of the Snowicide Squad? Well, let's round them up. First up, the Hound, with hype still mounting for a Clegane Bowl. <laughs> There's a chance we could see that finally paying off in King's Landing, odds 5 to 1. Tormund Giant's Bane, though we'd love to see some Giant's Bane Tarth babies loaded up into a minivan for sword practice, it would be just like Game of Thrones to put a dagger in our belly before the shipping is complete. We put Tormund's odds at 20 to 1. As for everyone's favorite friend's owner, Sir Jorah Mormont, they must have saved him from Grayscale for a reason, but what that reason is remains to be seen. We're giving him 20 to 1 as well. Gendry. He has a particular set of weapon-making skills that could make him a key part of defeating the Army of the Dead in the final season, and if his run is any indication, his cardio has him in tip-top shape. So Gendry's death odds are 50 to 1. Beric Dondarrion, with his top bun-wielding necromancer gone, Dondi is all out of lives. Death odds at 5 to 1. And now for the most heated sister rivals since Serena and Venus, Arya and Sansa. Now, we don't want them to die, but we have to at least entertain the possibility that Littlefinger's machinations will end up with one of them meeting the pointy end of that cat's paw dagger. So although we truly believe that the sisters will get it together and not kill each other, we're still putting the odds that one of them will die at a moderate 50 to 1. And speaking of Littlefinger, we are so, so ready for him to die. In fact, the only person in all of Westeros who actually wants Lord Baelish to live past the season is Lord Baelish. Odds of his blood christening the winter snow in the finale are 2 to 1. And there's really no question as to whether Jon and Danny will live past the finale. The whole dang series hinges on these two being the walking, talking symbols of ice and fire. But who knows though, this is Game of Thrones. Benioff and Weiss could pull an Ed Stark on us and cut down one of the two, ending the aunt-nephew shipping craze that's sweeping the nation. But still, Danny and Jon season finale death odds are at a highly unlikely 500 to 1. But what do you folks think? Who are you rooting for to take a dirt nap in the season finale? And do you think Viserion the dragon will turn on his Targaryen family? And now that Gendry's back, what's our new callback joke gonna be? What are you doing? You're leaving. Let's discuss. And if you haven't gotten enough Game of Thrones, be sure to check out our live after show, All Kings Considered. We break down the latest episode, dissect the theories, and predict what's next for the Seven Kingdoms. You can catch the season finale recap this Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific on YouTube or ProjectAlpha.com.